Welcome to the Money Talk Show TV. We motivate and educate new investors to save money and in investing. So today we are going to educate you on saving money tips at home if you are on a budget. How to save money at home on a tight budget. You might need to save money at home, especially if you are on a tight budget. First let's talk about where the word budget comes from. The term, budget, may not be the most exciting word in the dictionary, but it is one of the most important. It's a word that can help you save money at home on a budget. Budgeting can be a challenge because there are so many things to consider and it can be hard to stick to your plan. The first step is to write down all of your expenses and see where you have room for improvement. The second step is to create an action plan with specific goals for each month per week per day. Tips for sticking with your budget. Keep track of your spending. Keep receipts, use apps, or write everything down on paper. Make sure you have enough money in your account before making any purchases. It can cost you more money if you get those NSF fees for overspending. Now let's talk about how to save money on a tight budget. How to save money at home on a budget. We all want to save money as much as possible. But, we also want to live comfortably and have a good time. There are a lot of ways to do this, but you should start by looking at your household budget. If you're not sure how to figure out what budgeting is right for you, here are some tips. Figure out your monthly income and expenses. Figure out what your monthly expenses are with the help of a budget spreadsheet. Consider how much money you can save every month with these changes in your spending habits. Find ways to cut down on monthly expenses like eating at home more often or finding cheaper rates for services like cable or internet access. Type yes in the comments if you eat out more than you should. How to save money by eating out less. Eating out less is a great way to save money. Eating out can be expensive and unhealthy, so it's worth looking into how you can cut back on your restaurant spending. There are many benefits to eating at home more often. You won't have to worry about the quality of the food, and you'll have more control over what you're eating. Eating at home also saves money because you won't be paying for someone else's labor or ingredients. One way to reduce your restaurant spending is by using a meal planning service that sends recipes and grocery lists straight to your inbox each week. That way, you know exactly what you need to buy before going grocery shopping, so it's easy to stick with a budget when shopping for food. Eating at home is very important, especially if you're on a budget. So let's move to saving money by shopping online. How to save money by shopping online. Stop buying things you really don't need and can't afford. But since we still tend to shop anyway here are some tips to help ease the pain. Online shopping has become a popular way to save money. Online shopping is not only convenient, it can also be cheaper than purchasing items in stores. The reason for this is that online retailers don't have the overhead costs that brick and mortar stores do. This means they can offer their products at lower prices. There are many ways to find a good deal on an item when you shop online, but these tips will help you find the best deals on your favorite items. Look for coupons and promo codes before you purchase anything. Check out sites like RetailMeNot and Coupon Sherpa before you buy anything to see if there are any discounts available. Compare prices of similar items across different retailers to find the best deal. Make sure to hit that like button so we can produce more financial videos. Okay now we got that out the way let's talk about saving money on your phone bill. How to save money by cutting down your phone bill. The average American spends about $1,000 per year on their phone bill. That's a lot of money. But you don't have to spend that much. Here are some ways to save money on your phone bill. Sign up for a family plan with your friends and family members so you can share minutes and data. Switch to a prepaid plan if you're not using your phone all the time. Switch from unlimited data to a limited plan. Consider getting an old school phone instead of a newest smartphone. Everyone can't afford the latest iPhone or Galaxy. So be thankful for what you have and can afford. Stress can lead to bad financial decisions and that is why stress is our last tip to help you while you are on a tight budget at home. Just relax and stick to your budget plan and things should get better at home. Thanks for watching and always. Be blessed to invest in yourself.